Howdy y'all, Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates. I wanna show you guys something real quick that I just worked through one, one of my Xactimate estimators with. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've done a lot of customizing to a particular line item or maybe a series of line items uh, for a client or for a specific project and you send it off and then you get another project where you need the exact same things but you've already, you don't know how to change the, you don't wanna go through the hassle of changing all the line items again. Well, I'm gonna show you how to build a macro with customized line items that you can use time and time and time again that will save you a lot of headache, save you a lot of that, that running around and legwork to get you back to where you started. So, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Hello, everyone out there in uh, LinkedIn land and wherever else you are. This is Bobby who works for Claims Delegates. She writes uh, some estimates for us and she's been doing a really great job the last couple of years. Thank you, Bobby. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. Today, we're gonna to talk about creating a macro for, for customized items. We have a client who has requested we change uh, their, removing, or their roofing, remove and replace items to the correct uh, cat labor category, which is roofing. And we're gonna see that over here uh, once I start sharing my screen, I'm pointing over here. I'm not sharing my screen yet. What we were doing up until this point was, is we were changing the roofing labor items every time we did an estimate. What I'm going to show Bobby now and show the rest of you is a way to save a macro for those items that you're going to use in in estimates over and over and over again in a way that it it saves the customization that you do to the specific line items. So let's let's just get into it and I'll walk you through it. Let me, okay, here we go. Can you see that, Bobby? Yep. So we did some customization already. This roof has already had the uh, remove items have been changed to the proper labor category from DMO. So I, th I know a lot of people out there are doing this now. But what I want to do is be able to sh or, or reuse this um, with this customization already in it. So. In particular, we're concentrating on the remove and replace items. Here's RFG 300 remove. We've already changed it to roofing labor. So what I'm going to do, since I want all this in a macro, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to save the macro. And we're going to say this, uh, let's name it something random. I know that's very creative. So what's important here is we save line item customizations and we include any attached notes. So I'm gonna hit okay there, and that's saved as a macro now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to delete this, all of this. So if I come in here, so we are in the roof still, hopefully, macros. But first I'm gonna go RFG 300 minus, and you're gonna see how it comes up standard as with the DMO as, as the labor category. Let's just leave that there, and we're gonna run this macro that I just made. Oh, there it is, I'm blind. I'm gonna run that macro. Boom, it's already there. Come to this line item, and we can see it saved that. So what I like to do is I like to build a custom price list for each one of my clients, where this labor, this type of labor thing is already done. And, and Bobby, I will be doing that for this particular client. Okay. But the shortcut way to ensure that we have these changes in every single estimate is to create a macro just like we did. So, Bobby, you got any questions on, on how we did that? Nope, that was pretty simple. Okay. This particular client does a really good job of sending us nice sketch stuff here. Uh, and while I have you here, Bobby, and while I have everyone else watching, right, uh, I want to show some things that I changed here. We had can see RFG 300S and RFG felt 30. Before I open this estimate, this was the calculation for the RFG 300S. You, uh, because this client wanted us to figure in waste, right? We 10% uh, waste factor, and um, I'm not sure where you got the 29.33 squares, but I'm that was just, their numbers. It was their numbers, so they gave us that number. They gave me that number, yes. Um, so what I did. Instead of doing that, I let Xactimate and the sketch do my work for me. And especially with roofing, it comes in very handy. We can use the calculation SQ for squares. So I said squares times 1.1 to give us our 10% waste factor. And it actually came out to a higher number than what they gave us. Right. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. SQ times 1.1. 
The other thing, they gave us a linear footage of uh, ridge cap, which which is ridge and hip. Mm -hmm. That number was lower than this 116 because I came in and agreed to the calculation, R is your ridge, plus hip is your linear footage of hip. So I would recommend everyone out there, when you can, when you have a nice, beautiful sketch like this, uh, like we were provided here, or um, you know, import something from from Eagle View or something like that. When you have these items, when you have a nice sketch to go off of, use that sketch. Use it to your advantage. The other thing I did, uh, they gave us linear footage of drip edge, which was, I think, 20 linear feet short of the actual. So the calculation for drip edge is rake. Just type in rake and it'll pull that linear footage off of the, S the, the sketch and put it in there for us. Gutter apron is the eaves. You want that on the eaves. You don't put gutters on a rake. Right. Um, the other thing I, I like to do is I pull up my little cheat sheet because I'm not a roofer. Uh, I'm an exact make guy. I, I'm not going to rely on my brain to remember everything every time. So I, I pull up a picture of a remember by. So if you have, if you've built your sketch properly, you can do things in your calculations like here, valley metal, you use your valley, V-A-L is valley, right? But now that we've done this, we've saved this macro, and, and Bobby, I will send this macro to you shortly. We don't have to remember any of this anymore. We just, we just know we have a roof, and we hit, the, we run the macro, and boom, it's going to be there. Clear as mud. Clear. Awesome. Thanks, Bobby. Now, I hope you liked that. If you saw what we just did over here, and you want to know more about it, or you maybe you want to hire us to do it for you, we're open. ClaimsDelegates.com or Andy at ClaimsDelegates.com. Take care. Hey!